subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hello friends this is vijay bambani i hope you're enjoying my videos and you're learning how to read the subtle nuances of the market better after watching my videos i'm vijay bambani and i'm a trader since 1986 i've been trading these markets for 36 years and through these videos i want to help my viewers become better traders better investors and nurse what i call a 360 degree world view of the financial markets now today's topic is a very critical one as far as i am concerned and so should it be for you if you are going to be a well rounded trader you see the rbi's monetary policy committee meeting or the mpc is going to be meeting within a fortnight or so and they are going to determine whether the coupon rates or interest rates should be hiked we've already seen a 40 basis points or 0.40% repo rate hikes recently and the markets are waiting with bated breath as to whether another rate hike is in the offing now in this video i want to make a case for why an another rate hike should come i'm not saying uh, 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 whether they will or will not i'm making a case for why another rate hike should be implemented i'm going to share my when where why how for this uh, uh, hypothesis and in the next few minutes i'd like to share my thoughts with you about this you see you've heard of this term currency wars for far too long this term has been in uh, 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 in circulation for the want of a better word since 2012 so it's been 10 years since this word has been floating around in financial markets at different points in time it means uh, different things now that we are basically seeing supply chain disruptions all around the world due to covid and uh, 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 the global economy and global trade basically shrinking no more is the case of what we used to see where there was a race to the bottom beggar thy neighbor or uh, uh, how to devalue your currency the fastest so that you could garner more and more export uh, orders now it is about how to fortify your currency so as to stop a flight of capital you see there is this thing called the cash carry trade if a country a is offering 2% interest rate and country b is offering 5% interest rate money will flow out of country a into country b and thereby earn an incremental 3% rate of return now what really happens when money flows into country b because foreign exchange is flowing into country b the local domestic currency in the case of india it is the indian national rupee the indian rupee will become stronger because more and more hard currency is flowing into india so now that everybody else around us is increasing interest rates to be able to attract fdi and fpi which is foreign direct investment and foreign portfolio investments we will basically have to match up or maybe even outperform a little bit by raising interest rates do remember that higher interest rates might in the near term hurt the headline indices in the stock markets but think about it what is more important the stock index which probably impacts 4 5 6 or 7% of the domestic population or the rupee which impacts the life of each and every man woman and child in this country so if the rupee is defended if the rupee is stronger the markets over a period of time will also take its in its stride fall a little in the near term and then rise again over a period of time so cash carry trade is one aspect the other aspect is capital formation you can basically have more and more money into the banking space by doing two things 
नंबर वन यू इंसेंटिवाइज अ सेवर बाय ऑफरिंग हायर इंटरेस्ट रेट्स व्हिच इज व्हाट सर जॉन टेम्पलटन द लेट सर जॉन टेम्पलटन यूज टू से एंड ही इज एन अनडिनाइबल अथॉरिटी ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट्स एंड म्यूचुअल फंड्स इन दिस यूनिवर्स he used to say he would prefer to invest in that economy which uh, uh, basically incentivizes savers rather than incentivize borrowers so by raising the interest rate you are basically incentivizing people to invest in bonds in fixed deposits in fixed income instruments which generates business and it pushes up the gdp growth rate of that country all right so the other method how uh, uh, the government can basically increase money supply is to print currency now printing currency would mean you devalue or debauch the fiat currency's purchasing power and therefore trigger off inflation this is not something that is a sustainable way out of any economic problem as a stopgap arrangement as a temporary measure as we have seen after 9/11 in 2001 after the global financial crisis in 2008 central banks in the us have for a period of time resorted to currency printing as a matter of fact even after the covid 2020 uh, lockdowns were implemented the us federal reserve has printed a lot of unbacked dollars and look at how it's going out for them not really very good inflation which was supposed to be transitory is now acknowledged as being a little more sticky and therefore printing currency is not a way out incentivizing a saver by offering higher rates of interest so that he can put money into the bank into the bond market i've made lot of videos about the rbi retail direct bond scheme i've uh, spoken about the gs2035 series uh, Uh, a sovereign bond which is available on the rbi retail direct scheme so if interest rates are higher than the inflation there is an incentive for a fixed income saver to invest money into the fixed income avenue and thereby provide capital to where it is needed most the manufacturer the retailer the wholesaler basically keep the wheels of the uh, uh, economy going the other aspect that you need to think about is if at all interest rates are kept subdued you might push up the stock markets a little higher but you're pushing a lot of people who are actually senior citizens or fixed income investors and because the inflation is up and real effective interest rates that is interest rates adjusted for inflation remain lower you are pushing these people into equity now maybe they understand the risk involved with equity maybe they don't and right now the jensen's measure for making fresh investments in equities isn't really very great but then because you need to generate profits you need to generate return on investment you are you are pushing people from fixed income because the real effective interest rates are zero or negative into equity where they might suffer a even bigger drawdown should the markets decide to fall a little bit which they can because we've had very good two years from march 2020 to uh, uh, january february march 2022 the last aspect is the wpi number the wholesale price index which is alarmingly high to be able to curb that runaway kind of an inflation you need to step up the interest rates so as to cool off the inflation monster friends these are my three primary reasons why i feel inflation should go up in the forthcoming monetary policy committee meeting and it will be a good thing in spite of the fact that the markets might just become a little soft in the interim but over a longer period of time it will be a short term pain but long term gain on this optimistic and cheerful note i bid good bye to you not before reminding you to click like on this video if you liked what you saw subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already done so click on the bell icon to receive instant alerts about fresh videos being put up out here good bad or ugly i always welcome your feedback in the comment section and 
Help me reach out to fellow like-minded investors and traders by referring my video to your family and friends. I thank you for your patience and sticking around in this video till we meet again in my next. This is Vijay Bambani signing off for now. Take care. Bye-bye.